We've got something quite special going on here, haven't we? Uh, Mohamed Salah fires Liverpool to a 5-0 win over Watford. As I said in the preview, I was expecting a routine win. Maybe I was expecting Mo Salah to score four and not necessarily a 5-0 win, but I'm not surprised coming out of that. Um, and it's just so nice for this to be routine and this being almost expected in, in, in a way that you go and you don't face any problems. Watford are an alright side, they're mid-table, they're safe, um, you know, maybe on the beach uh, as the cliche goes, but you just know you just know we're going to win that game um, and it's just mental that this is this has become kind of obvious and as I say boring for the, we're that team now that people see as boring because we're just going to win at home every week no one wants to watch that um, you know, Spurs Man United or Chelsea or whoever rival fans just don't, can't bother to watch that because they know we're just going to sweep the opposition aside 5-0 there um, an early goal for Salah went a bit flat for half an hour after that um, then he scores again and then Firmino scores second half and Salah gets two more and it's just fucking brilliant it's just great how can you not enjoy watching this team play and how can you not be so excited for the Man City Champions League quarter final I'm so so excited for that bring them on obviously it's going to be a completely different occasion than what we just saw here but I'm just so happy. I'm just so optimistic. I, even the United defeat last week, I, I came out of that, you know, not too downhearted. We're just heading in such a great direction. Um, can we challenge for the Premier League title next season? You know, are, are City gonna, if City are going to be at the level that they're at, then maybe not. But if they're anything less than this, then we're going to give them a damn good run. We're going to be right up there for years and years to come, as long as we can keep hold of Mo Salah, keep him fit and everything. Um, this front three is just amazing. Some of those goals were that first one was just Messi esque. Um, the second one, Robertson's cross, is in, you know gorgeous, and he's what a left back he is, by the way. Um, Firmino gets a lovely little flick, and then Salah just rounds it off with two, you know, two more just forwards goals, and it's Danny Ings comes on. And I, I, I was just praying for him to score. You know, he has a couple of chances, and obviously the what would turn out to be an assist for Mo Salah off, off the keeper. Um, I just want to see him score a goal at some point. Um, but just great, just brilliant, just absolutely brilliant. I've got nothing really to say. I mean, obviously, obviously the only bad thing, Emre Chan gets injured. Hopefully, it's not too serious. It's his lower back. Um, you know, you, you want him fit for the semi final, uh, quarterfinals, rather, the Champions League. So that's a concern. But oh, who cares? Who cares about anything other than the Reds just being absolutely mustered? It was a fantastic game to watch, um, despite that little lull in the first half. But. Let's go through player ratings. Karras, I don't think he has to make a save. Um, let's give him a 7 out of 10 for his distribution. Joe Gomez was imperious. Um, just great. 8, 8 out of 10 for him. 8 out of 10 for Matip. 8 out of 10 for Van Dijk. I'll give Robertson a 9 because he gets a lovely assist and he's probably the most eye-catching of the defence today. Uh, Henderson actually wasn't that great. Uh, gave the ball away a few times and had a bit of funny five minutes in the first half where he just couldn't get control of the ball. Um, probably a 6 for him. It was okay. Uh, Van Alden, pretty anonymous in truth. Um, I'll give him a six as well. Uh, Emery Chan doesn't really stay on long enough here. He can have a six for what he did do. Then Milner comes on and plays quite well, actually. I'll give him a seven. I um, thought his passing was really good and incisive. Um, front three, Mane. Uh, a bit wasteful. He, he was better than um, he was at Old Trafford. He gets, um, he, gets an assist. he gets a couple of assists, actually. Um, and it's generally, you know, is, is, is a threat and he's, he's in, in between the lines and do, doing uh, doing things, getting himself up to no good, which is which is great. Eight out of ten, Firmino, of course. Tyler scores, works hard. Vintage Firmino performance. Eight out of ten. Mo Salah, of course. Ten out of ten. The guy is, you know, bordering on Messi esque at the moment, and it's um, it's fuck, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch. Uh, Danny Ings comes on and has a couple of chances. I'm actually going to give him a seven. I thought he played really well. And um, who was the other sub? Oxley Chamberlain. He's busy. Um, let's give him a seven to be nice, shall we? Uh, but wonderful, wonderful stuff. Liverpool Football Club, back to third, back to winning ways, back on form. Uh, Anfield crowd absolutely loved it. Ale 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 was, um, you know, sang throughout. Great stuff. I've got no complaints whatsoever. Um, before I go, I just want to remind you about something that I spoke about on my Instagram and Twitter and Facebook the other day. It's the app called On The Team. Um, Basically, you could be the assistant manager for Liverpool vs Bayern Munich Legends, which takes place at Anfield next week. They'll sort out your flights and accommodation, but voting closes tomorrow. So listen up, download the On The Team app, um, 
click the link in my description or search for it on the Google Play Store or the App Store, depending on which device you're using. Anyone in the world can enter this. Once you've downloaded the app, just go to the Liverpool Legends event and you'll select an 11. So that'll be the 11 that you want to see start that game. So uh, the likes of Diddy Haman's going to be there, Chevy Alonso, Michael Owen, Ian Rush, Lewis Garcia, Dirk Cal, um, Carragher, Aga, Risa, Phil Babb, David James. Um, so yeah, re re really good, uh, really good day, and you can be the system manager, and you can get behind the scenes access and stuff like that. So uh, well worth entering. You got it's two pounds per vote, uh, or you can bulk buy, and you know it'll be less money per vote if you do that. And all um, all the money you put towards this, um, there'll be donations made to the LFC Foundation. So it's for a good cause. It's an awesome prize. They run runners up prizes for things like uh, uh, match tickets and hospitality and stuff like that. So. Um, Check that out, it's well worth entering. I've entered myself and I think you guys should too. Uh, other than that, subscribe to my channel if you're new of course and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. Leave a comment with your man of the match. <laughs> what am I talking about? Leave a comment with your uh, thoughts on the game. We want to hear the man of the match is, but maybe maybe a, an unsung hero of the game. Of course, Robertson and um, Gomez were great, but uh, how good was that? Um, I'll see you next time.